now, you remember, uh, you remember last year, Hammond here went and drove a Dodge Charger and he loved it so much he came back and he said, I've got to buy one of those. I've got to buy one. Problem is, he didn't have the money. So um, there's nothing that he hasn't opened in the last 12 months to try and uh, make up for it. I mean, there's been the Eastbourne Motor Show, which you hosted. Great event. I like this one. You black tie do awards for people who organise awards. That was a good one. <laughs> hey, that was a good, that was a good this, night out. This is the my favourite one, the National Car Park Awards. <laughs> How do you judge a car park? Well, you know, how, how good the park is. <laughs> there's, there's, there's not much urine in this lift, that's not <laughs> no, Only 40% of my car was nicked, and I was only stabbed once by a heroin addict while walking across it. It was a great event, and there were nice people. And you got a check. I did. <laughs> and you, you got enough checks. Yes. And he's done it! He's here! <laughs> he's got his charger, everyone! <laughs> I don't know why you're clapping. I don't know why you're clapping. Yeah? It's, it's, but I'm very pleased with that. I brought it all the way over from America. And, um, and there's actually a guy in Plymouth that kind of modernises old muscle cars. So I've had more modern suspension-ish put on it and brakes. And I've had those great big alloys custom built in Japan. I've gone for a kind of bling modern look. No, the thing is, is that you brought this car down here today and I was all set. Well, the colour is a bit poor. It is a bit honest. green. I had wanted a black one, but I missed, if I'm honest. It's <laughs> what not What do black. they call that colour? They call it sublime. <laughs> what? Don't it's laugh at my car. I'll touch it. I have um, to say, there are environmental concerns about it. It's not, it's, uh, somebody there said, what was somebody that? there mentioned the environment word, and it is green, but not green like you're thinking. It's, it's just... How many miles to the gallon? Not many. How many do we Five, think? Five, six, something Five. like that. Five. Something like that. Six. I reckon it'll give your GT a run for its money. <laughs> Maybe we should have a competition. Yeah, who can use the, the most, most fuel? fuel. Hey, that's a Anyone game. Here can... <laughs> we should do that. Mm, buy shares in Shell. Um, no, I was going to take the mickey out of you for that car. The problem is, I think it's fantastic. Don't you think? I'm just very scared. It's a seriously be. cool... No, there's nothing coming. I think it's okay. a very cool car. I think you've done very well. I've even had a T-shirt made for you that you can wear while you're driving it. Or a charger in. Like yeah, they are. Look. Look at that. Big, Big car, car, small <laughs> Richard. <laughs> Mm. Okay, now, it was the British Grand Prix today, and I know who won. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't, because it's not really today. We record Top Gear on a Wednesday to go out on a Sunday. Well, I'll tell you who won it. It was a man. Oh, genius. Well done. <laughs> yes. You laugh, but why aren't there any women racing drivers? That is a good point. No, seriously, because in the olden days, they used to say it was a question of strength. But now they've all got power steering, you just lie down, turn the wheel, and if you want to win, go a little bit faster than all the others. Well, yeah, but hang on, I have done it. It is a bit more tricky than that. No, that's because your feet won't reach the pedal. Yeah, no, <laughs> it really isn't. I, why aren't you a Formula One racing driver? You what, sorry? No, I'm quick enough. You would be quick enough. Have you tried it? No, not yet. There you go. What you do you do for a living? A tanning salon? Yeah. I've no idea. Richard, what's that? <laughs> no, honestly, um, the thing is that I know, okay, why women don't do it. It's because as soon as a woman puts on a pair of racing overalls, they're immediately treated like a sex object. Have you been on the internet again? Yes, I have. <laughs> and I found this. Oh, God! <laughs> I also found this, okay? But there's a reason for this. Really? There was a poll, okay, to find the sexiest female racing drivers. Not best, not quickest through our rouge, not most dedicated, the sexiest. Well, she's won it, apparently. Now, when was the last time someone said to Kimi Raikkonen, would you mind posing in a red bikini? Never. <laughs> okay, you go all the way down, look at them. There's Sabine, look, from Germany. This is a Look good at her. Time. When was the last time somebody said, Boo, Nigel Mansell, could you wear a dress <laughs> four sizes too small for you? <laughs> it never happens and it really annoys me. But do you know the most amazing thing about this poll? Who came 10th? I don't know. Shall we scroll down and find out? Can you see what it is yet? <laughs> what? <laughs> Seriously? Seriously. Yeah. Well, look, genuine. You made that up. Genuine. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. that. No, but. He's not a racing driver. Well, I think there are bigger issues than that, Richard, if we're on. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm less of, actually, a woman or a racing driver. Well, let's be honest, you've dabbled with being both, so... Yeah, I, <laughs> I want you to look at this. 
This is a field of unsold Range Rovers. Now, do you know why they're unsold? Well, nobody's got any money at the moment. No. Look at the colours. That's the range of colour that Land Rover does. Now, if you go down to home base to paint your walls, they off you can have any colour you like for a fiver. Actually, you can go in with that jacket. Well, maybe not. You could go in with this shirt <laughs> and you could say, I want that colour but a bit more orange, and they scan it with a thing. Exactly, and it's just not good enough now. Okay, look at this. What I've got here is the Audi brochure, okay, for the A8, a £70,000 car here, okay? Range of colours available. There you go. They printed it in black and white. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, okay? They colours. For an extra £2,400, they will paint it in any colour you like from that chart. That's just a spectrum. Yes. Oh, sir, wants it in uh, visible light, does there he, you sir? Go. So if you, <laughs> there you go. If you want your car in colour, £2,400. If you want it in black and white, it's, the, it's just ridiculous. Well, what, what you need to do, look, is buy a BMW X5, because they understand this problem. They have a special range, which they call BMW Individual. The higher your standards, the less room there is for compromise. As an upshot of that, they offer it in black, silver, silver and black. <laughs> Gentlemen, as you're getting all hot under your tweed collars about this, <laughs> um, can I just say, I know a little bit about this, and the reason that car manufacturers, well, they have to plan their paint colours years in advance, because they have to test to make sure that each colour works on the plastic, say, of the, the bumpers, and on the metal of the body, on the, those two materials that come the same colour. They do. Robert, what you say, it has to be the same colour, whether it's on plastic or metal? Yes. No, because I was painting my sitting room the other day, and the paint was exactly the same colour on the wall as it was on the wooden skirting board, and on my hand, and on the sole of my shoe, and subsequently on the stair carpet, all exactly the same colour. Can I just, I really want to show you this. This is the Mercedes CLK. Can you see down here, these are yeah. soft top fabric, OK? Yeah. Do you want to know what it says underneath? Cabriolet only. Oh. <laughs> Oh, now, bit of bike news. This week, uh, there's been talks at high level in government of capping the noise from bikes' exhaust at 74 decibels. Good. Now, that's about as loud as a hairdryer. Good. And it goes further than that, because what they're saying is, if you were caught with a bike louder than that, the police would be able to confiscate it. I'd go further. I'd shoot you in the middle of your it's face. It's just because you hate bikes. <laughs> It's just because you hate bikes, mate. That's... It isn't. It's because I live on a road in the Cotswold, and every weekend city boys come out on their PQRS double TTs, OK? <laughs> it's ruin it. The Japanese four-cylinder bike being revved to about 11,500 RPM sounds glorious. Yep. Shrieking and... Triumph, triumph three-cylinder motorcycle engine. You don't get that noise anywhere Growling else. Growling away. You told me the other day that your bike, whatever it is, sounds like you belching. No, I didn't. It did. No, it what did. I said was the sound at low revs from the exhaust is like the sound that a burp makes when it's forming down here. I don't want there. to hear a forming burp going past my house on a Sunday afternoon with That's someone dressed like a Power Ranger. I don't want that. <laughs> I don't. don't clap him. He's wrong. I'm so not wrong. And actually, I'm quite glad that you don't like it. I'm actually quite glad about this possible legislation because I think bikes should be slightly outside the law. That's why we yep. ride them to be a little bit rebellious because I don't want you to like my bike. I want it to upset you. OK, Mr Rebel, Mr Easy Rider, let me ask you a simple question. A few years from now, OK, you've got two daughters. I have. Some spotty oik turns up at your house on a PQRSZ double T. OK, your Izzy out. What are you going to do? Got him. I'm going to keep a big bucket of sand by the door, and when I see him at the door, I'm going to go and stick my head in it, and then the problem's gone away. <laughs> <laughs> I won't have to worry anymore. You're going to let a man on a bike take your daughter out. Oh, that's a difficult one. How it about is... if I turn up in ten years' time to take you out? <laughs> <laughs> then, on the other side of the door, I'm going to have a big bat. <laughs> because in ten years' time, his daughter's going to be 14, and you're going to be 75. <laughs> That's one of the reasons why he'd have to clobber you with a bat, probably with pain hey, out. Eminent scientists have been busy at work. And they've announced this week that a cow produces 500 litres of methane every day. Just because you come dressed as a farmer, I don't see why you're... <laughs> Bear with me on this, because I've been doing some maths. <laughs> what? Methane is 23 times more powerful than carbon dioxide, OK, as a global warming agent, yeah? So that means a cow does more global warming than a Range Rover. <laughs> Honestly, a Range Rover 10,000 miles a year produces less in a day than a cow farting. <laughs> so something's got to give. Yeah. Cows are cars. Yeah. Got to be cows. Uh, you know.
no, I think we get rid of the cows and we keep the cars. No, we've got to get rid of the cars. No, we get rid of the no, cows. No, I'm not get, No, look, milk, I can't do without that. Shoes, get cheese, burgers. Eggs. Yes. Not eggs, no, James. You live in... <laughs> There's a man who lives in Hammersmith. No, no, you're wrong. Eggs come from the milkman. Yeah, but yes, the milkman but... doesn't lay them. <laughs> anyway, forget all of that. The thing is, if you get rid of cars, how are you going to get to work? You can't get to work on a cow. You can't ride a cow. You can't ride a cow! Ride a cow. You can ride a cow. Can anyone see a flaw in my plan? I can. What? We'll be out of a job. We won't. We just call it top steer. Ah! <laughs> and we'll have a power board and we'll have all the different cows and how fast they can get around our track. The only drawback I can see are cattle grids. Well, oh, yeah. <laughs> cattle grids are a problem, and also, if it's about to rain, they'll all lie down. <laughs> Other than that... I can't imagine that. The M1 just lined with people, all of yeah, their cows waiting sitting for down. it to brighten up before they can continue their What gym? can you do? Wait you till the police cow comes along. <laughs> I think you're talking nonsense, and you've gone a little bit I mad. I think you both... I've no idea what you two have been talking about. <laughs> oh, big news. Is it the Dacia Sandero? No, um, <laughs> it's the European Car of the Year 2008 is the replacement for the Vauxhall Vectra. Ladies and gentlemen, the Vauxhall Insignia. Ins you had to look that up then, did, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> you forgot what it was called. Well, the weird thing is the three of us were being driven around in one of these last week and be honest, we didn't actually notice what it was. No, seriously, I was in that with back and forth to a show we were doing for three days, and I thought it was a Renault. <laughs> I can remember one thing about it, it had very hard seats. Yes, it did. Ha! Ah, actually, you can't criticise those because a German panel of seat experts have declared... I'm a what? <laughs> A German, there's a German there's panel. a German panel of seat experts, and I've invited them all to your house for Christmas. Oh God! <laughs> Where would you put them? Have a sit and stand up. Uh, well, anyway, they have voted to give it their, their, their coveted accolade for, for the quality of the seats. They've praised the quality. Oh, of the that's seats. rubbish! It's like those people that say you've got to eat natural yogurt because it's good for you. It's like, and those, and you get those people go, I like a hard bed. It's good for your spine. Oh, it God, isn't. I, I hate hard. I do. Like, I do like a hard bed. No, I'm sorry, Richard. Can anyone think of one thing in the world which is better hard than soft? <laughs> well, that's, that's quite awkward, actually, there, gentlemen. What? Ice. <laughs> Ice. <laughs> he got us out of it. Yeah, well, thanks for getting...